Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Iron Man progress video. This is episode number 53. Um, kicking things off with some Kraken uh, at the start of this episode. Not really looking for anything in particular. The Sand Fuse Serums are quite nice for taking along to Dagonoth Kings. But yeah, pretty much just continuing with Slayer in this episode. Might do a bit of skilling as well on the side. We shall see. Hope you guys enjoy the episode. We have got a hard clue. What can we get? Coming in with 97 farming, two levels left to go until 99. I'm running extremely low on seeds though. Um, in terms of fruit tree seeds, I've got five papayas left, which is uh, one tree run or one fruit tree run. After that, I'm gonna be down to the pineapples and curries of which I think I've got about 700k XP worth. Um, normal trees, it's literally just willows, I've got like 100 willows, um, which I think is about 140k XP, so yeah, basically I just need to continue doing my birdhouse runs and hoping to get decent seeds from there and just bosses that drop magic seeds, use seeds, that's going to be how I'm getting to 99 I think. Um, yeah, quite a lot of XP between levels now so not expecting to get this anytime soon to be honest. And that is 97 cooking, so two left to go, racking up a um, pretty decent stack of food. I'll have about 20k cooked crambons once I'm finished with these. Um, I'll probably end up getting like 10,000 sharks from fishing and I think I've got like 7,000 anglerfish so it should be sorted for a while. And there is 98, one left to go. I definitely don't have enough fish in the bank to get this and I'm not really in any rush at the moment to be doing minnow fishing for the sharks but um, it will come eventually, um, maybe before the end of the year. I don't think I'd need too many sharks to be honest because I've got about 2,000 anglerfish still left to cook so maybe like 4k sharks which would be like 10 hours of fishing so yeah it's on the horizon hey there we go that is whip number i want to say i want to say that's number seven so i got one that's my tentacle whip and that'll be number six in the bank and i've not used up all of my uh charges on the tent whip so i think that's number seven Literally, next kill, that's number eight. Back to back, Abyssal Whips. That's, pre <laughs> that's pretty lucky. Slayer level coming in, uh, 96. Haven't had a Slayer level in quite a while. Um, been doing a lot of boss tasks and um, not been really too worried about getting Slayer XP quickly. Just sort of been focusing on getting good tasks, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the uh, Kebos Lowlands update that's going to be coming in January with the new Slayer Master. I think that'll be a nice change of scenery and obviously there's going to be some ridiculous rewards. So I'm all set for that. 95 Slayers is the level you needed. So I didn't really have to worry about rushing any levels. And um, yeah, looking forward to getting the uh, Dragon Hunter Lance, is it? I think it should be pretty useful. Hey, that is only my second occult necklace. I've had uh, both of them now from the regular ones. Haven't killed too much of the boss. Um, I don't know why I wasn't in a massive rush to get the occult at the time. Um, I probably should have been because it's a really good item to have um, for anything mage related. Um, yeah, I mean, that's not going to have any use for me getting the, the second one, but it's always cool to have more of these unique items. Hard clue from the Smoke Devils, what can we get? Nothing good there. And another one. Ooh, that's handy because I have the legs, so I should be able to put that into my house now and save a bank space, which is always nice. All right, got another hard clue for Guthix Chaps and Guthix Page. Really like that to be Sara or Zami. Defense level coming in, that is 96. 2075 total, no combat level, and back to training attack. And another hard clue. 
for the Guthix Coif. I definitely don't have that. Tideboy one I teleport, so that is good. I don't have any of those left, so wanted to get some more of those for uh, Calquat farming. Found a Dragon Impling. Can we get anything good? Ooh, yes, Dragon Arrows. How much are they worth? That is very decent, I'll take that. Ooh, I don't think I've got that. Piscarillius Banner. I'm hoping it goes in the house. Um, 125 mediums done. I'm doing a few um, just here and there. I don't really like doing um, bulk collections of eclectics, so I just go into the, um, what is it, the impling maze and go until I get a clue and then just fill up my inventory. Yeah, I find, I find that's a bit more enjoyable. I think that's my third cabbage round shield, you know. Armadillo page. Decent for the bank value. Ooh, Cryer Bell. Don't think I've had that before. Definitely got the War Blessing. Again, hopefully it goes in the house because I don't want to waste the bank space. Coming in with 76 woodcutting. Um, I would like to be able to do the new achievement diary that's coming out in January. It does have a 90 woodcutting requirement. So if I did want to do it when it was released, I would need 85 as a minimum. And then obviously using a spicy stew, I think getting 87 would be ideal just because then if I ever got the master clue step for cutting or burning redwoods then I could just use the dragon axe spec and that would be a lot easier um, but that's going to be a lot of wood cutting so not sure if I'll be able to get it done in time for January the 5th but we shall see. Got a hunter level coming in that is level 90 um, probably not doing these birdhouse runs as much as I should I pretty much just do them uh, whenever I do a herb run um, but yeah I've got like 4k brews in the bank and I only really use them for raids at the moment so I don't feel like there's any particular rush for me to get uh, extra pots or even extra herb xp I'm, I'm 90 now so just happy to get the levels as and when just slowly build it up and that is 89 fishing so I reckon getting 99 cooking in the next episode is looking very likely which is pretty cool and that is 77 woodcutting. I might actually start doing Tears of Guthics again now that runecrafting is going to be my lowest level skill. Um, it's like 12k XP a week which it all adds up. I don't really have any plans to train runecrafting uh, in the near future. I will need to do it at some point for the uh, last two diaries that require runecrafting. Obviously Karamja and Falador but yeah, that little bit of XP every week will probably um, stack up quite nicely. All right, got two clues to open, a hard and an elite. What can we get? Nothing too good from the hard. And yeah, nothing too great from the elite. I guess the, uh, the planks will be decent for construction, but that's about it. And another hard clue, what can we get? Nothing. Odd drop to see, but I will not complain. An elite and a hard clue at the same time from a steel dragon. So um, yeah, I'll go and do these after the task and collect my 50k and 100k rewards from those. Okay, what have we got? Nothing and nothing. And another hard clue for nothing too special. Hey, we've got an archer's ring, 5.2 mil. Um, that's a lot of money um, and the second one on the account still haven't got the circle or the worries ring actually so yeah maybe we'll get one of those on this task if I can save spot Rex properly and a berserker ring as well pretty nice hard clue from DK's what can we get yeah pretty pretty average reward not even 100k there ooh master clue from a medium Hopefully we'll be able to complete this and uh, let's see what we can get. All right, managed to complete the master. Can we get anything good? Um, what's that worth? 185K, not the best master clue reward in the world, but um, I'll take it. For some reason, the clip that I recorded of uh, this whip drop didn't come out correctly. I don't know if it's corrupt or something, but um, yeah, there we go, another, another whip. All right, got another hard clue for a lot of rune items well guys unfortunately that is it for today's episode hope you have enjoyed watching 
Uh, if you did, feel free to like and subscribe if you aren't already, and uh, hopefully see everyone back in time for the next episode in a week or so. Take care.